Hello, welcome to my class. It is first time you're joining my fashion class. My name is Ufuma. I'm a fashion designer, stylist, fashion mentor, and coach. Extraordinary. So I don't only teach you how to sew, I also teach you how to look good. So my videos, I'll just run a quick one. I'll be doing my videos every Sunday, dropping a new video every Sunday. So you want to subscribe to my videos so you don't miss any one of them. So today, what do I have for you? I want to teach you how to make an off-shoulder asymmetric top. The beautiful thing about this top is that it can be worn in a different ways, in different ways. In fact, like four different ways. I'm going to show you this after the video, so you want to stay tuned. So let's get into my class and see how we could cut this amazing and beautiful top that is great for summer because summer is just around the corner. So let's go. Yeah, so now we're going to start cutting our off shoulder top and we need three yards of Ankara for this project. So I'm going to fold diagonally or make a 180 flare. So now to get that, you need to fold in a triangle fashion and we're going to measure the top we're going to cut our flare from the top from the pointed part you need to take about 20 inches if you want it to be fuller you could do 25 inches because the wider your flare at the top the fuller your fronts so i'm just going to go 20 inches all around because i don't want mine to be too full then I'm going to measure to make sure that the width I have there can give me enough flex. So I have about 25 inches and that's fine. So I'm going to take off 5 from the top. Start measuring from 5 inches to get my measurement of my top length. So it's asymmetric. The center is longer. So from the center I got about 38 inches. Then at the side... I could do like 25 or 23 inches, depends on how short you want the size to be. So you use your tape rule, take five from the top and measure to be sure of what you have. So having done that, I'm going to cut. So remember, the wider your flare, the fuller your front. So now I'm going to use this as my pattern to cut the back panel. So I'm going to fold again triangularly to get a 180 flare. So having done folded this, you need to place the part, the front panel over it to help you cut the exact same size. So you could have both the front and the back panel. Off shoulder tops are really simple and fun to wear. So I'm going to cut now. Make sure the edges are even. You don't want to have the front longer than the back. So cut carefully and precisely. So now we have the back and the front panel. So what we need to do now is to place the two right sides together, right sides together, and go over to the machine and start sewing. So when I go to the machine, I'm going to start sewing the sides first, the two sides, before I fold the bottom and the top. So it's important to do that.
so the sewing is going on the size of the top and you need to all just half inch it half inch both sides you don't really need to verify your measurement just hold half inch both sides and you'll be fine So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to fold the top part of my off shoulder blouse where I'm going to put the elastic. So I'm going to get one yard of elastic, 10 millimeters I'm using precisely. If it's too thin, you may have some issues. So not too thin, not too thick, not too wide. So first and foremost, I'm going to fold the top of my off shoulder top. I'm going to try to use zigzag. Okay, because in the video, in the tutorial picture, what you have there it was uh, interlock stitches. But in a case where you don't have the interlock machine, you could just use a zigzag or you could fold with your straight sewing. But for me, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the zigzag and I'm folding one inch because I want to have some fabric, some fronts on top. I want distance between the elastic and the fabric so that I can fold beautifully. So I'm doing one inch. If you do half inch, it may not be visible, but with one inch folding, you're going to get the desired effect. So I'm just going to sew all around using my zigzag. You need to adjust your machine so that it's not too thick. And not too wide so just okay now I've done that as you can see now I'm going to get my elastic band and I'm going to adjust my machine setting to straight sewing then I'm going to start sewing so I'm going to place the elastic band just where I add my zigzag sewing on top so in between the stitch and I'm going to start sewing and remember it's important that you pull your elastic as you sew because when you pull the elastic it actually actually gives you the fronts it pulls the fabrics together so you get the desired fronts for the beauty of this um, off shoulder top that we are trying to make so don't pull too tightly and don't be too lax as you can see so we're getting our fronts and we're getting there so just keep pulling if you pull too tight your thread could cut and it will make the sewing difficult so you need to just pull systematically So if you have excess after pulling, you just cut off. But make sure you are consistent with the way you pull. Too loose, too tight, and your fronts will not be even. So after doing the top part of the top, you could now go to the bottom and fold. And voila, your top is ready. So it's really, really easy very easy to make and very fun to wear so you notice the distance between the elastic and the top of my blouse and that gives the so how simple was that really easy right so all you need to do as i said earlier get your three years on color or any fabric and you're on your way to making your beautiful asymmetric off shoulder top. So let me show you, as I promised earlier, how you, that top can be worn. So this is by Mannequin, my assistant as usual. And this is the beautiful top we made. So as you can see, it's not dropping well because it's a bit slippery. But when you wear yours, you get exactly what you see in the picture at the beginning of the class. So you could wear this way. You could also decide to wear like a one, sorry for that, okay, one shoulder top, like that, you could decide to get a belt, 
to cinch at the waist for those that don't like very free tops. So to give some shape and functionality to your top, you can actually be use the top, um, a belt, just like this, okay? And you see, that's also looking great. Or you could decide to wear as a tube, And just keep that way. Okay? It's summer. It gets hot. So if you want some air, and you could go with this with the leggings or skinny jeans, and you're good to go. And as I said earlier, you could also wear as a skirt. So for a skirt, all you need to do is just go down there, push it down there, and you have a skirt. So what do you think? Amazing, right? You don't want to miss any of my videos. So subscribe and see you next time when I bring your way out to court something also very interesting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.